I mean, this is the most fun we've had at the press conference uh, for any bill, let alone just the heart of the bill. So thank you all for coming. And before we go on with the regular part of the press conference, we have an honored guest, Senator Cliff Height. He is the, the senator who is carrying the heartbeat bill here in the Senate and working hard to make sure that it gets passed. So he's going to address us first. I just want to know how you get a child to give a bear away. I, I, is, what a sacrifice. I'm proud of you all. I have goosebumps. This is an exciting time. And I see my good buddy, uh, Representative Eagers here, and uh, I know he's worked on this harder than I have, but I, I'm aware of that. Okay, good guy. Uh, and I do know that. And I want to thank you for all you've done on this. And of course, Lynn Watchman as well. And it's been a, a trying time. I, I, I try to tell Linda that the Senate just doesn't work at the speed of life. Unfortunately, that's true. And, um, but we're making progress, and tomorrow we have a, a caucus retreat, and it will come up. And I will know a whole lot more after tomorrow. So I, I don't have any secrets. I'm not privy to anything, but I just want to tell you I believe in this bill 100%. Uh, I remember when I was asked, would you support it? And I said, in a heartbeat. And uh, I said that before. I'm so proud of all the work that so many of my friends in my area and all across the state have done on this. I, I just, I'm amazed how far we've gotten. And um, I think we're getting ever, ever closer to the reality that this bill can be passed. I truly believe when we get this to the Senate floor, we'll have more than enough votes to get this to the governor and get this um, signed. And I do want to be there. And I know, Representative, you want to be there for the signing and uh, make this a historic vote. I, I think we're past due to challenge what needs to be challenged, and I think we're ready for a big fight. And I, I must tell you, I'm, I'm an old football coach, and uh, somebody said, well, there might be some fights, tough fights ahead if this passes. I said, well, I always schedule the best people. I said, if you want to be the best, you play the best. And, you know, we actually even beat Moeller one year, didn't we? <laughs> Representative, one. one year. So, I mean, it can be done. And I understand that there are people that are reluctant to, to do the fight. I'm ready to fight. I want to fight and win, and I, we're going to. And that's what's exciting, and um, you've done a great job. I'm really proud of you. I really am, Lori, too, and all you guys. You've, you've done a fantastic job, and so my heart is with you, and especially with you. I can't, I mean, I got, you can't fake goosebumps, no matter what. You just can't, and I got them. And I'm like, wow, this is so cool. And, uh, and I get one of these, don't I? You do. Who has a you have one that says Senator Height on it? You're the winner. We have a very that says Senator Height. Can I have a hug? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want a hug. Oh, awesome. <laughs> That's Senator Height there. You know that? Yeah. Oh, no, I'll tell you. Give me a high five. Give me a high five. And we can do that later. Okay, good. No, no, no. It's my bear. Oh, it really is my bear. Beyond a goosebump, that was a cry moment. So you know, you just, but it's just amazing the sanctity of life and how important it is. So keep the fight. I know you are. I know a lot of you have been fasting and whatever. And I, I just more power to you. I think it's fantastic. I, I my, my heart goes out to you. So nice job. And I gotta run. I'm supposed to be running a meeting. But thank you. Illinois Nurses for Life President, Eileen Grady. I'm sorry? Eileen Grady, Illinois I'm... Nurses for Life President. Oh, very nice to see you, Eileen. Thank you so much for coming. Where did you come from? Illinois. Oh, from uh, Illinois. She's the one that tied all the bears. I've been fighting the for ribbon. unborn since 1976. Thank you. Oh. This does it. 
because then we can go back to Illinois and get them started. That would be awesome.
Shallow understanding from people of goodwill is more frustrating than absolute misunderstanding from people of ill will. Lukewarm acceptance is much more bewildering than outright rejection, unquote. And so I would like to ask today our pro-life senators that they do not take the route that Martin Luther King Jr. referred to with the white moderate who his complacency was more of an obstruction to the civil rights movement than the KKK, and instead that they would stand on their principles of life and justice and pass the heartbeat bill immediately. Thank you very much. My name is Janet Folger Porter, and I'm with Faith to Action, America's largest network of pro-family organizations. Uh, good to see you here, Representative Eager, one of the uh, 53 co-sponsors of the House. Glad you're here. And you have heard from every single constituency, save one. You have heard from, well, you've heard from the baby, as Senator Height said a moment ago. This is the picture that appeared uh, in newspapers across the state. This baby testified in the House Committee via ultrasound uh, a projector as we heard and saw the beating heart of the baby in the womb. And this same baby, baby Hallie, was presented in the Senate. So we've heard from the babies, unborn and born. We've heard from, well, we've heard from every public official, practically, in the state of Ohio. We've heard from many of the majority of presidential candidates, majority of Right to Life local chapters, uh, the founder of the pro-life movement, Dr. Jack Wilkie, Dr. James Dobson, Tim Wildman of the American Family Association, Tony Perkins of the Family Research Council. Uh, we have heard from, from virtually everyone uh, that, that is an elected official or has held, held a pro-family leadership position. We have also heard from the people of the state. In the poll that was done, we saw that two out of three people in the state of Ohio of, of likely voters favored the heartbeat bill. Eight out of ten Republicans, seven out of ten independents, and a Democrat majority by a five to three margin favor the heartbeat bill across every demographic throughout every corner of this state. There is one group that you have not yet heard from. They are the children. And if you look around the room, there are actually, there are actually less children than, than the heartbeat bill would say. There's about, what do we say, 50, 60, if we count the kids that are still sitting some of our, in the seats here. But this heartbeat bill would save more than these children every single day. And that's really the message today is that the senators are going to hear from those who, uh, who will grow up and be children, just like the ones you see here today, as they present their babies, with be their, their, their bears with beating hearts. Uh, I want to I uh, quit speaking now and let the real stars of this press conference speak. I guess you know what I'd like to do is, is uh, Noel, can I start with you? Come here, because I know you need a little help. A little help. Okay, what do you want to say? Your name and your name. I'm Ben Miss Noel. <laughs> Hi, I'm Madison McCauley and I'm 13. I don't, I don't believe, don't believe the lies. Today, children are being aborted every second, and I want this bill to be passed because I don't think it's fair that children don't get to live their lives to the fullest. Also, I don't think it's fair. That
There are people that are you and me. And I think they deserve to be alive. Hello, I'm Jacob O'Han, and I'm eight years old. And it's been 40 years since, we, since abortion has been legalized. And it's time to stop abortion and let babies live. <laughs> And I want to tell the senators to, to, uh, to pass the Harvey bill right now. And when I mean right now, I mean right now. <laughs> Here's how the children in Ohio would vote if they were given a vote. I am Chairman Sean Sawyer, and I am 13. And I vote yes for the Harvey bill. I will now pass the word. My name is Caitlin Close, I'm 13, and I vote yes on the heartbeat bill. My name is Andy Myers, and I vote yes for the heartbeat bill. My name is Mason McMurray, I'm 13 years old, and I vote for the heartbeat bill. My name is Abigail Avery, I'm 13 years old, and I vote for the heartbeat bill.
clarifications that needed to take place are taking place, and uh, we are trusting that the, uh, the Senate will bring the heartbeat bill to a vote, not only in uh, accordance with their constituents, with the two out of three people in the state, every elected official, the majority of the right to life chapters, but the kids from the state of Ohio, uh, and of course, on behalf of the babies with beating hearts. So I just believe that, that when they get their bears delivered to them with the message from the 18-week baby, when they actually hear that these are the heartbeats that we're, our vote is going to protect. And, and what it says on the tag, this one, Senator Eklund is a little moist. I think uh, a baby was gnawing on this one. But, uh, <laughs> please squeeze me to hear an 18-week unborn baby's heartbeat, just like the ones your vote for House Bill 125 will protect. Wow. And so when they get this, I believe that they're going to be encouraged. Uh, and uh, I started lobbying when I was in my early 20s for a right to life. Uh, many of you know my background with a high right to life. But uh, I have never seen younger lobbyists than I have today, and uh, I think they're going to be the most effective voices for this bill to date. Any other questions? Have you discussed with uh, Senator Neihaus that you know he, he called the halt of the hearing and said if you had injected an uncertainty into the process of your proposed changes? Have you discussed in the interim with him? Sure, uh, uh, Representative Watchman, uh, I think clarified the uh, the issue, and he said uh, essentially that the amendments, and then there was some misunderstanding that it wasn't tr us trying to force amendments at the last minute. It actually was amendments that the senators had suggested, and frankly, they were good suggestions. They made some language parallel. Uh, they cleaned up some some technical things, uh, and makes it makes it a, a better bill. And so we were for those amendments, but they really weren't our amendments. They were initiated by the senators who Senator Newhouse and President Newhouse had asked us to meet with. So we were actually just doing what we had uh, been, been asked to do, uh, and uh, we were we had the, the amendments were uh, subsequently drafted in response to the request of those senators, and uh, I believe that those technical uh, cleanup amendments will be added in the committee, and uh, that the bill will pass uh, in, in, in a good form. That will, and, and this is the critical thing. The most important part of this bill, and most of you know, is the heart of the heartbeat bill, is the protection of babies. And so uh, anything less than that is, is uh, you know, not the heartbeat bill. We are certainly in for, for informed consent. Uh, I was the one who worked to pass the informed consent legislation that's on the books today. Uh, we also work to make sure that informed consent remained a part of House Bill 125. But the heart of the heartbeat bill is not just to tell people about the heartbeat, but also to protect babies who have a beating heart. So we believe that uh, the bill will pass with those clarifying amendments, those technical amendments, and we believe that uh, it will pass quickly. Because everything, as we've mentioned, everything has been done. Every hearing, every explanation, every memo, every phone call, uh, we, uh, we are ready to see babies with beating hearts protected by them. Have you ever, um, it's just, has there ever been a demonstration like this that you are aware of? And where did you guys come up with this idea and whatnot? Well, um, to my knowledge, there never has been a demonstration like this. I've been around for a couple of decades. Uh, never saw it. In fact, I remember people told me, uh, Jan, I've been, I've been here for, I don't know, three or four decades working in the State House. I never saw the atrium packed out the doors and the people viewing on the monitors. I never saw it decorated like it was. I never saw so many people come and, and kneel and pray and, uh, and come and, 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 and speak with leaders from across the country. There's a lot of firsts. And a lot of people have some problems with that. Uh, I think it's fun. Uh, bears are fun. Uh, balloons, I think they're fun. Uh, we saw, you know, 5,000 helium balloons delivered to the Senate, uh, excuse me, to the House. Helium is not allowed in the, uh, the State House chambers, for those of you who don't know. Uh, that's why we had the balloons on a stick. We delivered 99 dozen uh, balloons uh, to the Senate. Uh, they're a little more austere. They, uh, they, Representative Meeker, you know, it's just they, 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 uh, they, they're not into helium over here, apparently. But, but we're, uh, we're grateful that, uh, that, that, you know, we've, we've got uh, pretty much, I mean, I don't know of any other bill that had a plane circling the State House either. I mean, the, the yard signs, the billboards, the bumper stickers, the television ads, I still to this day cannot go by a, a school bus without thinking about the heartbeat bill that every day that they delay this vote a school bus full of children uh, more than the children that are in this room right now their lives are lost who would otherwise be protected by this bill so there's been a lot of firsts uh, and I believe that what we're going to see is, is history made again as uh, Ohio is the first state to pass the heartbeat bill I believe the Senate is, uh, is, is going to do it very very shortly and I believe uh, we'll see it this month uh, perhaps uh, as soon as, as, as the next uh, week or two any other questions? 
Well, we're grateful that you've all come out. Uh, our youngest spokespeople will be here to uh, take questions or uh, comments, and uh, we're, we're grateful that you showed up today. And uh, we're, uh, I think that there'd be some, if some of you wanted to, with, with cameras or videos, you could probably be with these uh, young lobbyists as they, they go and they actually present the bears to the senators. Each one has their name on it. Um, and uh, we're going we're gonna to see, uh, we're gonna see the reaction of the senators, and, and I think it's going to be a, a very encouraging day, a very positive, uplifting, and fun day. And uh, I think it's going to lead to, uh, to what we've all expected to, uh, to come from this chamber, and that is uh, a passing of the heartbeat bill as the House did. Uh, we're going to see the Senate uh, uh, help to make history again. So thank you very much. Appreciate it.